This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This is Luca Parrish, and you are listening to Capes and the Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. It's a trunken little hoe fire. Welcome. You can tell them Lex Luthor's in. Oh, Jeff Bezos? Anyway, welcome <laughs> back to the Legends of the Universe. I am Phil. Join me as always. Back. I think she has some saw in her. Ah, uh, it is. House of Saw in the crab, I do like the people in the open Music, of course, provided by Mikey Flash. Hey, Mikey Flash. <laughs> Everybody gets a V, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Australians, the Americans, everyone gets the V. No, there's really only one Mikey Flash. He's the best. That's right. But anyway, yeah, so remember we were, uh, we said we'd, uh, finish out the year covering some Superman and Lois stories, getting ready for that, uh, series. So. That travesty. <laughs> oh my, give it a chance. <laughs> this is a straight train wreck. Dude, it's Superman on a CW budget. The disrespect. But we'll get there on the first, on the first episode. We'll get there. That's right. But meanwhile, yes. Uh, meanwhile, we're talking good Superman. Well, yeah. Up, up now, I believe another little Hellfire pick. Uh, the Man of Steel number two from 1986. The, the only one that matters. The, the good one. Sorry, Bendis, you're not invited to the party on this one. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Bendis, Bendis, Bendis. Fight me, Miles Morales, nerd. I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day. I mean, not to go too far off on a tangent, but um, I think you know what's what is Ben? This is good works like Jessica Jones, his Daredevil, the things he's um been able to like just run free on. Well, no, not existing, like you know what I mean. Well, what I was thinking is, and this might be the problem with his Superman stuff. I think he his writing flourishes a lot better when he's on like characters who are like. I don't know. I'm gonna say morally broken, but they're 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 broken people. They're not like when he's writing himself is what you're saying. When Ooh, he sees himself in a character, I, I, don't, I don't know. I feel like Miles was created for a very specific reason. and It was very well done. Yeah. You know what I mean? It had to do with his adopted kids. And he wanted them to yeah. be able to see themselves in superheroes. Yeah, and I, Jessica. I'm just saying, Jessica might might be somebody he knows might be a reflection of himself at one point in time in his life that's what it feels like to me but Not i'm just saying he, he's better at writing yeah like i said jessica jones and daredevil like these broken people the all the ultimate spider-man stuff those are teenagers so it's like okay they're not fully formed people that's why i think you know with this oh you just hit the nail on the head not fully formed people <laughs> and who can spit and who are who believably can spout a lot of dialogue Exactly. What did you say? Huh? What? <laughs> yeah, no. But yeah, John Byrne is, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I know that probably like when this came out, I know for a fact people probably hated it. But I think once you are able to get away from it, sit and reflect with it and like compare it to all the other like classic Superman stories, it's up there. Like, without a doubt, it, it's up there. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, especially, yeah, this is, you know, this whole series is like the retelling of, uh, well, you know, post crisis, post crisis origin, yes, but this one, the story of the century. <laughs> but isn't it interesting that they tapped a Brit to do it? What? You know, like I always say, Batman can be British, Superman cannot. <laughs> oh. And you know, I I don't know. I, I mean, I don't like Henry Cavill. I won't take it back. But maybe if we get oh. an actual good British actor, maybe. Oh my. <laughs> I said what I said, fight me, nerds. I said what I said. <laughs> I am what I am. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love I love this whole series. It's yeah. really good to me. Um, but like I said, I was, you know, I was not born when this first issue came out. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it was the year. We're, we're getting there. It was the year, but. I, th- I think the very first 
Superman issue I ever laid my hands on was a uh, was it Man of Steel number four? I think the one on the cruise ship on the ship. Oh wow! When he brings Lexi. I mean the one the one the movie uh, Speed stole all the plot points from. You mean cruise control? What exactly? <laughs> Not even the first one. The second one. But yeah, the, this one is all about how how Lois met Superman. I, and I've always, I've always, always, always loved Lois's dynamic with Clark. And she's like the one, like, yeah, you know, she didn't quote unquote figure it out. But she knew. We all knew. Plausible deniability is the name of the game. But like out of her, like, like say her, Iris, Gwen Stacy, Mary Jane, even kind of like Sue Storm's kind of deferential to Reed Richards in a way sometimes. So, but I feel like just Lois has that feisty gumption and it's just always been there since day one. Well, and like we, and I think we already said before, I mean, Lois is the one, you know, set the standard for all of them. Lois came first. Exactly. Female reporter pretty much comes from Lois Lane. Oh, God. So many, so many of the, all of the tropes. Except for, I don't think she's, well, she was fridged like twice. But like, it was like this elsewhere. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like definitive canon when she was fridged. So. That's true. Mar- married a bunch of different people. Check. Uh, killed. Check. Uh came black check uh. <laughs> yeah she she's been she's been through the gauntlet and we still and we love her even more for it and i i, I find people that are like i it, it's always you're always going to be able to tell a good superman writer with what they decide to do with lois again looking at you bendis well i mean ben yeah well what keeping them separated the most <laughs> it's not what we want Hey, not in 2020. That's not what we want. Hey, I've been back on Earth weeks, but yeah, no, I've been hiding out in this hotel. Hey, Clark. <laughs> Waiting on that lucky mermaid, are we? <laughs> oh, whoa. Uh, but yeah, so S- Lois first sees uh, Superman fly by. Oh, she, what is she? Um, what was this? Breakfast or lunch with Perry? Yeah. That that looks like lunch. No, oh, yeah. Looks might, like a burger. Might be a burger, yeah. Perry's always drinking coffee, so you know you never you can't tell the time of day with Perry drinking coffee. That's his thing. True. <laughs> What's wrong? I love that. Oh my gosh, it's him! You're sure that's the Superman who saved the crashing space plane? Let me see. He's flying. He has a giant S on his chest. I wonder. <laughs> well, look at Lois. She's so metropolitan. Mm. Definitely got the the uh, the Margot Kidder effect though. For oh sure. yeah. Oh, eighty six. Yeah, definitely. Superman 4 hasn't even come out yet. Well, come on. I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Let's, uh, so, <laughs> I love Perry. Whatever you do, give me that story. As good as got, Chief. Tell the boy, tell, tell, tell the uh, rewrite boys to stay close to their phones. Gotta love that feistiness. That, uh, that je ne sais quoi. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I need business when I break out the French. We, we, my mozo. Uh, of course, of course, because you know everything happens on the same street. You know who's who's. It's like New York. It's just like two blocks over. <laughs> Everything's two blocks over. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> whose green limo does she cross in front of? Ugh, creeper. Oh my. Ugh, god. The the, the whole creeper. interior is green. The the outside is green. Okay, Lex, we get it. You have money. <laughs> he got that money. <laughs> is he a rapper? He has to ride around in a green limo, so you know he has money. You know it's him. Get out the way. Oh, you can't see the hood ornament. You know it's got to be like a dollar sign or something. It's a Rolls Royce, bro. <laughs> or whatever the DC equivalent of that is. I forget. Uh, but yeah, he says, uh, yeah, tells his driver to stop the car and call her over Guthrie. Guthrie. Ugh. Blech. Not a good henchman. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you know. Not my favorite henchman. Well, he doesn't get Lowe's to come over, so yeah, so that's, he probably loses his job. <laughs> get out of there! Oh my god, he's in a red, like, reddish-brown uniform, too. I know. Is, I was like, I was like, what was he get? <laughs> it's not the class, I, I, I don't know, like, not the classic black chauffeur. Look, he's I, got, like, the Hitler uniform going on. <laughs> I know, that's what I was gonna say. You know, Lex fires him after this page, so he goes and gets, climbs back in his World War One biplane and flies away. This <laughs> <laughs> is Launchpad's uncle. <laughs> Oh, the wall. Fast Charlie. <laughs> exactly. Uh, tell your boss I'm busy. You tell him. He's right here. <laughs> Look, Look at him. He's such a creeper. He just rolls the window down. I Want know. some candy, little girl? <laughs> well, she's like, tell him I can, I'll catch him later. And the driver's like, but he's leaving for South America this evening. It won't be back for at least a year. Then he'll have to catch me much later. 
Why is Lex going to South America for a year? To meet Bane! <laughs> no, jeez. <laughs> Rich. He's rich enough. He wants to come back and see her. Can he fly back <laughs> and forth? You know, it's the chase. It's the art of the chase. No. Uh. You know, I just see Mary Tyler Moore and Lois in these in these eighties issues, and I don't know if it's on purpose or not. But She's that's what I see. Make it <laughs> like this this panel where it's like blast, blast, blast. No, there's no sign of them. <laughs> like that is a total Mary Tyler Moore like opening scene. If I ever saw one. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, we're like okay, we got to get a young hip. Uh, <laughs> reference because that was a little too old for even me <laughs> yeah grandma well i watched a lot i watched a lot of nick at night as a kid so <laughs> uh there's no... i know now it's look like... at the gold chopper bro like come on you're killing me let's get to the chopper <laughs> i told you green cars and gold gold helicopters you gotta let them ladies know he's the real bachelor suck it bruce oh <laughs> Oh, so is he trying to compensate for something? Oh, definitely. Uh, he's bald, you know? Oh, he's going bald at this point. Yeah. Uh, he's uh, he's got to go see George Costanza and get that consultation, you know? Why did your eye drift over to my box? <laughs> uh, but, of course, he, she, oh, she has to let you know whose daughter she is. Sam Lane's oldest daughter isn't beaten that easily. <laughs> My only daughter at this point. Who cares about Lucy? Hey. No show has ever successfully cared about Lucy, bro. Not one. Leave her alone. She's a blind stewardess. Stewardess at this point. Come on. <laughs> That's the one retcon I've been waiting on. Lois Lane, Sam Lane's only daughter. <laughs> oh. No, make can, her the. Can Crisis on um, Infinite Earths on Arrowverse make that happen? No, because no. we're getting Lucy Lane in the TV show. Do like Spoilers. they did. Do like they did. What was that? Man of Steel. Was that number five or number six? We just, <laughs> the blind. Make her like the blind. You know, make her blind. Make her. You know. Make her interesting at the very least. The Alicia Jeez. Masters. Oh, she could be the blind artist. Oh no. No <laughs> oh, good boy. No surprise in uh, Lois. <laughs> this but, flying man of yours ain't like a plane. I know. It takes her only 10 minutes to get up in that helicopter. <laughs> yeah. She's got her ways. Don't judge her. <laughs> uh, whoa. <laughs> Come on. She's been attached to every single superhero. So. <laughs> I'm not saying she was Felicity before Felicity was Felicity, but... <laughs> I call Bruce, but he's in, he's in New York chasing that, that slutty redhead around. Ouch! Burn! Burn! Oh, look! What do we have here? A mugging of a punk rock chick with her 90-pound boombox? Just hit him in the head with a boombox, sister. I know. Seriously. And who wears a little... Okay, you can't be punk rock and have that thin of a strap on your purse. Like, y you just can't. She's a poser. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Cause the mugger tries to run away and runs right in the Superman. <laughs> Like, honestly, this would have been better if he was just rescuing a kitten out of a tree. <laughs> but you really don't want to steal that young lady's flirt, woman's purse, do you? She doesn't look like she has much more money to spare than you. And then, like, when... Oh, miss? I know. When, <laughs> when he brings the purse back, like, wouldn't she be, like, running to the police station or something? She looks like she's just still just walking down... She was down oblivious the, to it. Just walking down the street again, not a care in the world, still listening to that boombox. Well, she... You know, those, those... those What do they call them? The, the jam masters or the... Bass blasters or something like that. They, they can make you go deaf. You see how close that is to her ears? She's she's oblivious. I know. But yeah, Superman swoops down. With he the throws him in the trash. Okay, calm down, Batman light. <laughs> what are you going to say? Spider Man. Batman. It's always Batman, bro. It's always Batman. Batman. <gasps> we, don't, we don't have a, a ray drop for Spider Man yet. Hint. There ha oh man, if I comb the archives, I'm sure I could find one in a Scarlet Spider episode. <laughs> but yeah, but but don't worry about Batman. We'll get hit to him in issue three next year. Batman, <laughs> exactly. And then he hangs up from a lamp. <laughs> I know. It's like it's, again, it's like the thing with Spider Man and Batman. It's like you know the cops. Like man, how are we gonna get this guy down? And eh, just shoot him and sprinkle some crack on him. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dave Chappelle reference. I'm sorry. Was that too real and raw for you? I apologize. What the Even heck? That's not a hip enough reference. That's from like 2004. Bubble of a boo boo. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Uh, so yeah, so Superman's giving the purse back, and then uh, oh, uh, luckily that boombox was there because oh, the police have uh, surrounded Clancy's liquor store. Poor Clancy. <laughs> Where four armed gunmen are known to be holding at least three persons hostage. Are we sure this is just not a drunken party? <laughs> Clancy. So what they had to name the liquor store after what was it? Is that an Irish name? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, Superman hangs the guy. Well, puts him in the trash can, hangs it from the light post. That should hold him until the police come and you press charges. And they... It means Red Warrior, in case you were wondering. What? Clancy. Oh, Clancy. And then he turns down her radio. I think that's, that's a trifle loud, isn't it? <laughs> After all, in a city this size, consideration for others is the only thing that keeps life bearable. And then he flies off by now. That was so Christopher Reeve. Yes, yes. I mean, just the art and just like some of the things he says in this, you could tell. They, I mean, yeah, Lois is, I mean, they're I mean, probably going for Margo. At this point, he is Superman. Yeah. I mean, sure, we had the, you know, we had George and a couple other people, but I mean, big screen, big time, you know, he's the guy. And I mean, even at this point, George Reeves had been like, what, 30 years before this issue, so. Exactly. But he was a BAMF, though. I, I don't think he gets enough credit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One of these days, we might have to rank our Superman. Spoilers. <laughs> Y'all know where Cavill is on my list. <laughs> you know where Cavill's on my list. Oh, my Lord. We'll never Tyler's get... Tyler's disappointed in the I was going to say... We'll but ne- it's okay. I was going to say, Tyler... <laughs> it's okay. Tyler, if we're ranking Superman, Tyler will be here all day. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I- no. He's got a hostage. Uh, oh, no. What is that? A Mac 9? In your Uzi? ear, pig. I'm surprised I didn't say LexCorp on it. <laughs> He's not Tony Stark. He's not dumb enough to put his name on the weapons. That's true. <laughs> I love the SWAT guy. <laughs> when they say they're not coming out, I, damn! I was kind of hoping my reputation would be enough to scare them out. You're not. You're not that. Guess not, Skipper. <laughs> sums it up. Sums it up. Guess not, Red. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but out of the guy, there's bound to be civilian casualties. Superman's like, maybe not. Let me help. What in the name of what circus did you escape from? I don't know. I'm sorry. I like the trunks. And when they took away the trunks, I was upset. And then when they, and the fact that, you know, you know, he who shall not be named brought back the trunks. I was just like, I see what you're trying to do, but not going to work. Too little, too late. Not going to work. Bendis, Bendis, Bendis. Yeah, I think if anyone keeps the trunks, it should be Superman. Yeah, I, Batman, I don't really care about. We've seen his jump. We know he stuffs it with a, with a you know, tube sock. We know. <laughs> Batman, damn! Batman. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I just, I don't know, even though it's the 80s, I don't know, I, I feel it. Like, I felt it all the way until like 2000, to the 2000s. I just feel like Superman, he could be kind of like Captain America, I man, kind of stuck in the past a little bit. It's okay. And it's just the color aesthetic. It, like, it breaks up that blue. I don't, I don't know, it's not the same when that blue just goes, you know, all the way. Although, as somebody who is in a fashion, three primary colors, I got it. I get it. It is not the best look, but it is iconic as Anna Wintour's hair, and we don't mess with that, okay? <laughs> I mean, take take the yellow off the costume just to make it red and blue then, but uh, as long as it's not New 52 armored Superman, I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 d- yeah, 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 that's the guy who needs armor Superman. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's trying to keep up with Batman. He's like, I like your suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alfred made that suit. That's my headcanon. <laughs> he made the suit for Superman. <laughs> and just like the Flash, you know, or yeah, armor really can portray speed. Okay. I mean, when you got it like that, <laughs> Burn. you just flexing on them. You know what I'm saying? But Superman's not the type of dude to flex on people like that. So oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Nailed he's walking it. into it though. Like what? he's walking into the spray of bullets. Like, come on, homie, don't don't try me. <laughs> well, that boy, boy, <laughs> yeah, coffee. He just, he just boop. He just booped the gun, bro. Just boop. Well, like, he's just like, yeah, because Superman. The cops like, wait, and yeah, because Superman walks in, hold right there, pretty boy. <laughs> One more step in your dog food. Oh, look at the detail on those boots. Mm-hmm. Much like Wonder Woman's boots, it's all about that detail when you're cosplaying classic Superman. Just life pro tips. But yeah, I love Superman just, yeah, bends the barrel. One of those 
been, she but, just stuck a flower in it and then crimped it. That would have been just chef's kiss. Should have just because he is a man of peace after all. Should have caught it with his teeth and spit out the bullets. <laughs> he's not Batman. That's something Batman would do. He's not a showboat. Not 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 yet anyway. Yeah, that um, comes later, much much later, at a terrible time. <laughs> So all these crooks are like, how do you do that? Don't worry about wasting. Holy spit! Waste. Oh, that's my new. That's my new line. <laughs> Y'all can curse if the band gets left there. I'm gonna be saying holy spit. How about <laughs> how about waste the mother? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they just like open fire on Superman. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I mean, well, I guess they couldn't because then after they fire on him, he uses his heat vision to heat up all the guns. They all drop. Oh down. snap! You done made him mad. Yep. Cause I was waiting. I was gonna say, speaking of uh, uh, that fifty Superman, I think I love when the crooks would shoot him. The bullets wouldn't work, so they would just whip their guns at him. <laughs> at least they tried something. Or just stand there like idiots. True. True. <laughs> Distract him and try to get away. You can't catch all of us, right, boys? <laughs> oh, but he can. That's right. So yeah, he heats up. Uh, yeah, knocks out two of the guys, and then. This woman, you wouldn't hit a lady, would you? A lady? <laughs> no, I never hit you. Plink. <laughs> <laughs> Takes off her glasses first, though. Oh, gives, so her, oh, gives her the finger like the Hulk does. Plink. <laughs> I know. I was, I was like, dang, son. He don't discriminate. That's true. <laughs> you can get it just as easily. He's a feminist. <laughs> true. I get it. Uh oh. We All right, I'll take dynamite. it. I know. <laughs> Well, he takes it. I never met a lady who carries dynamite under her coat. Well, you haven't met me. It's fine. Oh! <laughs> not that kind of dynamite. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Especially not dynamite rigged to explode at the touch of a finger. I'll just uh, tap these wires. Something I didn't want to risk doing while you were still wearing the thing. I'm just like, ah, oh, you're so thoughtful. Look at him go. So Superman's like, yeah, my presence isn't needed here anymore. And then here comes Lois in the helicopter. Meanwhile, I love the, the pilot's like, yeah, just where the radio said. Good. Give me close to one of those roofs so I can jump out. Jump? Are you nuts, woman? Just do it. I'm Lois effing Lane. I didn't, <laughs> you know? I didn't sit in front of my, pol I didn't win my Pulitzer Prize by sitting in front of a word processor. Hello? Girls get it done. Girls get it done. So yeah, so then she, but uh, only for Lois Lane. Yeah, so she jumps out and was like, uh, catch you later, pal. See you later, bunkies! I was gonna say. <laughs> See you later, bunkies! That's a classic see you later, bunkie. <laughs> but then, yeah, but yeah, Superman was knocking those guys out and, you know. He goes limp in my grip. Hmm. Uh, a lot why'd, of your, why'd you wonder, why'd your eyes wander over to my box? <laughs> Whoa, this isn't date night. Come on. Why did your eye drift over to my box? You're weak sauce. Oh, too little, too late, Lois. You yeah. gotta be quicker than that. Well, well yeah, if she, yeah, he drops her on the roof, so she has to run all the way down them steps. And by the time she gets her, yeah, he's gone. Just the cops like, hey, she's all him. mad. Look at that face. I mean, I guess she doesn't know about the super hearing by now, or else they just yell Superman. Yeah, yeah, that comes later. But yeah, they show. Yeah, there's like a four panel montage in the next page. Just you know, missed him. At different you just speeds. missed them. Yeah, all these people saying, you just missed them. Like a fire. Uh, oh, something. classic working 80s woman. Look at the kids with the socks. <laughs> uh, you guys really got to watch uh, either uh, 9 to 5 or um, Working Girl <laughs> to get these references. They're, they're just giving you such real 80s power business woman vibes. Y'all don't even know. Oh, look at that fedora. <laughs> She's chasing the uh, the Faltese, uh, Maltese Falcon, apparently. <laughs> yeah, same. Uh. Superman foils armor car heist. Superman stops subway. Saves woman falling on tracks. Hey. Who is the Superman? <laughs> is this the first... Is this? The, I think this is the first appearance in this series, right, of uh, Jimmy? Uh, what did they do to my... This... Now, this is the only thing is my thing. I don't like this version of Jimmy. For obvious reasons. Mm, looks like he's like three foot five here <laughs> it's just yeah he looks like a leprechaun yeah because we're all green i know <laughs> exactly and i'm just like jimmy oh okay you tried it bird i see you <laughs> uh, just he's that. a strawberry blonde and not a straight up ginger so i don't approve 
And just that insult to injury, look, the other papers have picked up my Superman reference. Should have trademarked it. <laughs> I love Jimmy Jeepers. That's rough. Too bad you can't find a way to, to be on the spot before he gets there. Let's start some trouble. Yeah, well, until I became clairvoyant, the only way I can do that is to... to hmm. It took you this long? Mm-hmm. Well, things seem to have quite a doubt of it. And I was Lois thinking it ain't, buddy. <laughs> In the past 48 hours, there have been no obvious crop... Cr- obvious crimes of any kind in metropolis in the big city <laughs> would it be immodest of me uh oh uh oh <laughs> you gotta stay humble you gotta stay humble soups no humble brag come on uh i don't know what's going on <laughs> he's like as long as i'm on the job there'll be no room for wait a minute help <laughs> give me a little oh help. it's just a damsel in the sh- it's just damn lois lane <laughs> <laughs> it's lois lane that looks because it looks like her car's in the river. Ah, that must be the spot where the car went off the end of the pier. Sure, buddy. Yeah, so he dives in and just picks up the whole car, brings it out. Okay, this is. I'm just gonna call it what I. How I'm gonna call it? This is unethical journalism. <laughs> that and it's like, is what if there was like a more important crime happening? I mean, maybe she could have escaped because I mean she did have a contingency plan as we see in the end of the issue. But if you were, if you're. Re- Especially if you're going to have to escape the car yourself, would you go into the river in a car in a skirt, Lil Hellfire? Well, I, I don't believe in skirts, so no. <laughs> um, But I, the creepy thing is that Superman is apparently Santa Claus. He knows where everyone lives. <laughs> what that <the> deuce? <laughs> I mean, unless... Uh, I was going to say, did she ever... Uh, I'm just saying for him to say that, like you're an all powerful superhero and you you're creeping on everybody in Metropolis. I mean, maybe he just said that. I was gonna say, did she ever license or something on her? I mean, unless he just like X rayed it and like, Oh well he obviously he knows where she lives. That's no. <laughs> the point that I'm making. But. Well yeah, he's 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 probably uh studied the planet and everyone there. <laughs> I love how she comes out. She's like, Thanks for waiting while I clean myself up a bit. Hubba hubba. <laughs> oh yeah, coming out in the bathrobe, yeah. <laughs> Look at how he's sitting too he's like oh miss lane you could get it didn't christopher reeve sit like that and was that the first superman i feel like yes that is a reference but the cat we never see again i don't think who elroy yeah we do when late like years later but i'm pretty okay i was gonna say not in this story oh no not in this story no (laughs) not in this story kind of sexist for a single lady to have a cat but you know whatever i'll, I'll give it a pass it's 86 i'll give it a pass yeah it's much more believable she had a bunch of dogs right little hellfire i'm just saying for me personally dogs are better for me personally i, I love cats as long as they're not orange tabbies orange tabbies are terrors <laughs> especially especially on mondays Exactly. You know what I'm saying. Right. Always eating your lasagna. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. I like I like that addition though. I thought we might have a little snack, some white wine and brie. Oh my lord. See? She knows when it's important you break out the cult the French culture. That's how you seduce them. I like the French. I like their food, their language, their method of kissing. <laughs> The method of everything, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Moving right along. You leave the Eiffel Tower out of this. <laughs> You're too modest. <laughs> uh, I've never really acquired a taste for Brie. I'm a farm boy. <laughs> I like American cheddar. I like Velveeta. Some yellow Don't you know Kraft cheese is the cheesiest? Unless it came straight from the cow. No, thank you. Kraft <laughs> cheese is the cheesiest, dang it. <laughs> this is the American way now. <laughs> so, now where were we? For when I picked up, you can fly. You're very, very fast. You can see through anything. And you have some kind of heat ray zap in your eyes, which are blue. <laughs> Yo, he's like, I think the name you gave me is quite appropriate. Like, bro, come on. Come on, be humble, bro. Be humble. You could be just okay, guy, and it'd be all right. Oh, please. <laughs> uh, Superman. All right, Superman it is. No. Is there any way I can get you to call me Lois? Of course, I'd be delighted, Lois. Uh-oh. 
as that room, oh. as that room just starts opening up more and more. It's just like the movie is like, why are you telling her all this? Confirm nothing and deny everything. Well, like he told her about kryptonite, <laughs> which I don't think he even knows about it. This Lex point. is everywhere, damn it. Yeah. I mean, he told her his powers. That's about it. Because she's even like, are you a metropolis boy or from out of town? I guess I'd have to say out of town. To be honest, way out of town. Well, said, to be really honest, I don't really know exactly where because, yeah. Yeah. Because in this version, yeah, at the end of this series, yeah. Uh, Jor- hologram of Jorel basically like downloads it all into his head. Now that is, you know, eventually we'll have to talk about all these issues again. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. Hold up. You had me in the first half. Not going to lie, John Burr. You had me in the first half. What matters is that I think and feel as an American. Boom! USA. Like I said, Batman can be British, Superman cannot. Americans are a very distinctive and divisive breed, but we do kind of have a commonality that just the British just doesn't translate to. Just, just, you can fight me about it, but it is what it is. Truth, justice in the American way. Go buy your war bonds. (laughs) Whatever that means. Especially in 2020, but... (laughs) Oh boy. So, yeah, so, uh, you're leaving? Yes, there's nothing more I can tell you, Lois. And as I said, what I have told you isn't going to be much use. I'll say goodbye for now. Oh, just out of curiosity, do you always drive around with an aqua lung under the front seat of your car? You knew, he knew the whole time. He's smart and pretty. Get it, Lois! Get it! She was trying. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Breed wine, we saw it. She embarrassed herself, quite honestly. Smart, pretty, and superpowers. Ooh. The whole package, ladies. The whole package. Oh, she was checking that package. <laughs> That's what the trunks are for. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Apparently, he's not very modest. <laughs> he's all about that humble brag life. <laughs> Again, if you were the man of steel, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh! At the whole faster than a, a speedy locomotive, though. You might want to take that out of the slogan, and I believe that's why they did. <laughs> Able to leave tall reporters in a single bound. <laughs> Hey-o. Hey-o. She's quite a woman, Lois Lane. Quite a woman and quite a reporter, too. Imagine deliberately driving her car off a pier just to lure me in for an interview. Hmm, sounds sounds desperate. <laughs> It, 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 I'm saying, oh, but it's '86. It's fine. It's that's fine. It's with that, that's how you. That's how you write women. Check all the comic books. That's how you write women. That, He's like, good thing I was on the other side of the world at the time. You might have to go and circle the Earth in reverse time. <laughs> oh, too soon. Too soon. Uh, oh wait, that was only like eight years before this. <laughs> I and that's pre crisis Superman, the literal planet juggler. <laughs> And I miss him. I don't care what anybody says. I miss him. I didn't notice a rescue crew standing by in an aqua lung as small as the one she had in the car would have run out of out by the time I heard her calls for help if I ever did it. Such range. That's true because they did depower him a little bit pre yeah. after crisis. And said, then you know, then he gets all these other new weird powers that nobody cares about. Hmm. Uh, what electricity? <laughs> Oh, don't don't do that to Tyler. <laughs> don't don't do that. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to cover some of that someday. Oh oh yeah. I mean it's it's fascinating. It's not good, but it's fascinating. Oh yeah. <laughs> like what was that thought process? If we could get an interview, I would be nice because I, it, like I said, it is fascinating. It's just not my cup of tea. But it, I did like the potential of that story, and I have questions. So many questions. I mean. I mean, I do have Ron Friends. I do have a way to contact Ron Friends who drew some of that. And uh, keep your eye out for an upcoming night, Nightwing news, folks, where uh, we talk to <gasps> Dan Jerkins. Yes. yes, that was a great, great one. I, p- I peeped in on you for a minute. No, 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 no. Not, no, we talked to Cal Higgins. No, Dan Jerkins is coming up on Monday. Oh, okay. I saw you guys interview and I was like, I won't troll you guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I told you we got we had three in a row. Cal Higgins, then Dan Jurgens is next, and then Tim Seeley again. Ooh, nice. I love the Tim Seeley interviews. He's such a great interviewee. Like just oh, so yeah. passionate, so knowledgeable, just a really great guy. And this house we stand, Tim Seeley. Y'all should know that by now. <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, so Superman flies to the Daily Planet, thinking he should test his the limits of his super senses one of these days. But right now, it's Ooh. it's time to keep my appointment with Perry White. The appointment I made two days ago is Clark Kent. Bro, she and, she pushed him to the edge. <laughs> She's like, I should I should test that theory. But she also scooped he also scooped her, so that's hilarious. Yeah, because two hours later, Lois is back at the office, fully dressed. <laughs> <laughs> Because Jimmy's even like, Lo, is he here? The t- chief's just tired. Later, Jimmy, I have big fish to fry. <laughs> yeah, she comes running in. I got the story on Superman. Lois, didn't you get the message? Uh, on your answer. And they, they stole this from um from the pilot episode of uh, Lois and Clark, too. Well, this, this part. Because you could say Lois and Clark stole it from this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. I know. <laughs> mm, sorry, Lois. I know how hard you worked uh, over this. Uh, and that's why she always had beef with Clark. <laughs> How she dare would... some low class nobody scoop her? She waited two <laughs> hours. It's like, why? If, even if she wasn't gonna like run in there right away, ca- get on the phone and be like, "Perry, here's the story." <laughs> She's Lois Lane. She didn't think anybody would scoop her. I but that's uh, hubris. You that's go. hubris. Relax, Lois. Relax. You were being to it. That's all. Happens to the best reporters. Used to happen to me all the time. <laughs> Uh, yeah we know Perry there's a reason why you're an editor those who can do those who can't edit burn <laughs> well that that's basically burns uh, assumption about Perry and like I said J. Jonah Jameson versus Perry White is not a fair fight Jonah's gonna win every time <laughs> Perry's very milk toast and that's okay because the story's so outrageous and outlandish you need that centering focus kind of thing yeah so I get it and you might as well take a good look at the fella who got the Superman story ahead of you. He's joined the Planet staff as of today. Lois Lane, meet Clark Kent. But my favorite, next issue, One Night in Gotham City. Yeah, Whoa. baby. <laughs> That's right. Next year, I think I have it set up. So like one episode, we do Man of Steel 3. I was going to say, yeah, we're going to do a crossover. What is this? Some kind of crossover episode? Well, yeah, because we're going to do Man of Steel number three here and then for uh, we are I think the next week for We Are the Night we're going to cover Batman the 401. Batman podcast. That's right. The Batman podcast. Batman 401. Nice. Nice. Phil's always always thinking. The wheels are always turning up there. Mm-hmm. He's our fearless leader and we love him. We stand Phil aka Nightwing PDP in this house. <laughs> oh my. But yeah, yeah I love this issue. Wait, 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 wait. You were, you were, you were praising me. Will of Hellfire <laughs> was right. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, this is an A plus issue every time. Mm-hmm. I enjoy, I enjoy reading this, these, these issues over and over again. I find something new to like, whether it's um, like a new panel uh, to appreciate, or just like you know the dynamics of the characters and stuff. I do feel like everything's pretty well fleshed out, even though it is kind of like a new kind of controversial take for the time on it I, I i think that's what i appreciate so much about that it feels fresh at this moment when you look back and think about what came before oh yeah and even now that's kind of that is still so very grounded and down to earth even though it's a superman story it's very much a personal character driven story it was a yeah it was a nice modern take for 1986 plus like we were saying and they kind of mixed in like the superman movie since stop very and, very elegantly like it wasn't yeah. like hit you in the face with it like Subtle. it would now like aquaman now has long black hair and looks like jason momoa can you believe it what's up dude exactly and that's so, why it's getting canceled <laughs> well among other reasons aquaman fans didn't show up you know i know i'm disappointed in my aquaman fam I wonder, I, if really it, I wonder if it's going to, uh, are they going to renumber or are they going to like let it stew? Oh, for they're a- renumbering. Uh, I feel like, well, I feel like Aquaman, Green Arrow. I was going to say, where like, the hell's Green Arrow? Of, like even Flash could like just share a book. They don't all need their, like, let's be honest. Let's, let's be honest. As crappy as these stories have been, do they really need their own full book? No. Answer Bite no. me. <laughs> Bite me. <laughs> you think Flash's stories have been good enough to justify a three ninety nine price? Mm. By himself. Some. Some. Because Aquaman were bangers, but people were sleeping on it because of the run that came before it. So it's just kind of that thing. You need more consistency. You can't just keep changing teams. Yeah, don't change know? teams every arc or every two or three yeah, arcs. It's annoying. Yeah. I, hey, if we're getting Wade back, again, give Wade Superman and Flash. Yes, I agree with that. I don't know 
who I really, really want to. I, I, I just feel like Super, uh, not Super, Wonder Woman needs something desperately. Her books are doing really bad. <laughs> it's so frustrating. The concepts are interesting, but like they need somebody. They need a big get to to do Wonder Woman and refresh her. They need a kick ass female writer over there. Not a, I mean, it doesn't have to be a kick ass no, female no. writer. Would I prefer it? Hell yes. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> But it doesn't necessarily need to be. I mean, I've, I've, I don't even know who I would want to write Wonder Woman at this point because every single writer has kind of failed me in what I want for a modern day Wonder Woman. Okay, here, here's an idea I just thought of. Uh, okay, it's a male writer and he's over at Marvel right now, but uh, why don't they snag Ta-Nehisi Coates? Can they even? I don't would know. Marvel even? I don't think Marvel would let that happen. I think he's kind of low-key stuck there. In a good way. I was just but thinking, sometimes a bad way. I was just thinking his Black Panther stuff, and I was thinking, you know, he he might be. Yeah, he's amazing. I would love it. I, I wouldn't hate it. That's for sure. But I don't think Marvel's. Marvel's got their hooks in them. That man. Yes, they do. <laughs> Deep. So, but yeah, I don't know. There's a couple of indie writers, but I, DC's just not into that at this particular moment. So, uh, I don't DC. think they'll ever be into that in this particular moment just because of the way that their business is structured. It doesn't allow for independent people to come on board anymore and flourish. Doesn't it's just not that kind of party anymore. Doesn't allow independent thought. <laughs> basically, I mean, you didn't hear it from me, but basically, uh. and that's why leadership is floundering. It's 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 very much of the the political. Oh, it's my turn. I've been here forever. It's my turn. Pick me. Let me do this. That's why. That's why one of their distributors let him go. Hello, hello. <laughs> that was this that this is a travesty. I mean, can you imagine? Could you could you imagine even a couple of years ago, someone you, you know, if someone told you, "Oh yeah, one of the distributors is gonna say, nah, thanks, DC, that's okay." Right? Like this is it's it's getting bad, guys. Like I don't know what is going on. What in the twenty twenty is going on? <laughs> but it's I'm worried for DC. And again, you like mock me and all this other stuff when I say, you know, have Disney buy them. But hey, not Disney. Think about this though: if Disney buys them. You could slide a ton of Hossie coats over there because they'd all be under one roof. But at the no, no offense to people who like the Marvel movies. I just I feel like the movies don't have depth. I feel like they're just tentpole blockbusters, not true to the characters. The, my favorite versions of the characters in the comic books that just aren't translatable to say a TV show or a movie. Like they don't they ignore those origins, and eh, I don't find that interesting for me. And I feel like they would do that same thing with the DC characters. But if you give somebody like you know the Amazon Studios the properties. Like, look what they did with the boys. Mm -hmm. And they also had an, another, a couple of other shows that are, like, kind of in that same vein that they've done, like, fictional stuff with, like, Man in the High Castle and stuff like that. Like, mwah, chef's kiss on their takes on that. And they have, like, kind of more freedom and it would, could be more mature. It wouldn't be, like, stuck in a PG-13 rating and things like that. That That's just my whole thing about, like, you know, the Marvel Disney model is I, I'm too old for it. <laughs> I don't have kids. I don't, I'm not forced to do it. I don't do it anymore. <laughs> I don't, have, I don't have to podcast about it. I don't have to watch it. <laughs> that, that's my whole thing. Like, I just feel like Marvel has a different take on the way that they write their books and structure their things. And I just prefer a more mature tone. Now, yeah. has it gotten super too, too super grim dark for DC? Like, everything's over the top and unnecessarily dark? Sure, but that's gonna... They'll find the equilibrium eventually. Hopefully in the next five years when I come back, they'll have that sorted out. <laughs> if, if, they're, if they're still there in five years. They'll absolutely still be there. Now, I said Sony should really be the ones. They've got that money. They really do. They really still want to make their, their film studio something. Still. Oh, there you go. Sony. Sell Spider-Man back to Marvel. Well, no, no, no. We're going to keep Spider-Man just, just for the money. Let's be honest. We don't keep Spider-Man for the money. He's going to bankroll this whole DC thing. Let's just be honest. Don't get carried away. Can you imagine that if Spider-Man was saving all those DC movies? Think about it, though. Spider-Man, he's red and blue, starts with an S. Just saying. We have both of them. The big. I, I mean, honestly, if, if I, I know for a fact Sony still is, like, they, like the main entity of Sony is like, do we really need a movie studio? And it's like, well, we do have the movie cameras. Like, what would we look like if we didn't have a studio? That whole thing is, if the price is right, because they're, they're really, like, wrecking the, the prices on DC if they ever want to sell it. So I feel like the price will be right very soon for somebody to want to buy DC. 
And I feel like somebody has some family member at one of the big places, like whether it's Disney or Sony or Amazon or even Google, <laughs> where they're like, yeah, I'm just going to ruin this brand and we're going to sell it to you. Like, that's what it feels like. This has been a train wreck. Hmm. Is it just me? Like, just every, it feels like every week DC's doing something dumber and dumber and dumber. They're, they're pissing off more and more and more and their books get sold less and less and less. They're like Trump. They're in the news like every other day. At least they're not tweeting <laughs> ridiculous things. That's their saving grace. But you know, he's he's a megalomaniac. It's fine. Y'all y'all knew what y'all was getting when y'all voted for him, and you gotta stand by it. And unfortunately, guys, I know y'all don't want to hear. It. You got another four more years. You, you heard it here first. <laughs> twenty twenty is gonna be a cruel mistress. <laughs> That's all I'm telling you guys. No reprieve, no relief. Nope, 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 nope. But on that note, on that note, you guys, if you haven't read this series, I really feel like you should. And you know, yes. if you've got like the extra money to blow, go ahead and buy that um Bender's run and just see exactly what we're talking about about that stark contrast of storytelling. Same character, same kind of philosophy of what they wanted to do with the character, completely different execution. If you have some money, you don't you don't need really need. Yeah, go pick up that Bender. I mean, super books could use the money so i'm, I'm not gonna front like like between between us hens i wouldn't be surprised if they put superman books on hiatus that's how bad it's getting between between us hens if you know you know <laughs> well again i mean isn't ben this out by the end of the year or something he is but that's not gonna save it are you sure i, don't, I mean i think it it'll it'll increase some interest on him if they get if they give it to mark wade or even jeff john say throw it back to jeff johns or whatever and or, they clean it up. Or it's going to take about a year to 16 months to really get back that trust, that faith, and that loyalty for Superman fans. Because even Tyler's not, like, reading it all the time. And that's Tyler! <laughs> yeah, he, he's he's not even defending the Ben this run, yeah. So, I'm just saying, it's going to take, like, like, it took me a while to um to get over, like, that the whole Batman thing. Like, anytime something, like, big happens, they kind of lose my trust. It takes a while to come back. I'm not, I'm not like, an anomaly. I'm like kind of the majority about that. It's like I'm not gonna spend my money on this. <laughs> so yeah, um, Superman's not doing good, guys. So I would recommend buy some books. <laughs> yeah, Batman's the only thing selling at DC. That's true. Batman, and that's by choice though. And uh, what? Like, it's like a self fulfilling prophecy. Yep. They don't give anybody else a room to shine. Eh. <laughs> In Night Nightwing's back in all his glory this week, so hey, let's let's push all that Nightwing stuff, people. Merchandise, books, come on. Like honestly, I where is my Nightwing merch? Like I have to go to like like the specialty corner in like Amazon for I my know. Nightwing stuff. It's not like just like prevalent. Like even Batgirl, well, not even Batgirl stuff anymore. Batwoman stuff, as terrible as that show has done, I still am easily able to find that stuff. And did you? See, oh, ooh, real quick, did you see the car? What car? What in the CW was that? The bat, the new Batmobile. Oh, what for Batwoman? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of saw it real quick. Yeah. I got it. I saw a picture that had it from all angles, and it's the CW. Even though it's a five million dollar an episode show, it's still the CW. Yikes! Poor, poor actress. I feel so bad for Jess. I feel so bad for Jess. <laughs> I'm interested to see what she does with it, but I. I have no illusions that that's the last season of Supergirl. Uh, Supergirl. Batwoman. No. Same difference. Same difference. <laughs> but on that note, we should probably let them know what we're reading next. Yes. Uh. Well, next week we're back with uh. We are the we are the night. Me. Episode two, where we cover uh, Batman four seventeen through four twenty ten nights of the beast. Four twenty. <laughs> See, I take care of you. Ghost Rider 69, <laughs> Batman 420, I take care of you. I know, I know. Phil treats me well. I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't complain anymore. As long as it's not, you know, Captain America. We're good. We're good. Or U.S. agent, even. He loves me. Doesn't doesn't hit me in the face. <laughs> not in the face. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't treat me how Bruce treats Dick. It's fine. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Backhand to the face. <laughs> Everybody else gets hugs, but... So you're saying just beating Dick? <laughs> Nobody tell Rob. Uh, <laughs> and then come back here in two weeks for the next episode of uh, Legends of the Arrowverse for Lil Hellfire's last pick of the year, Action Comics 662. Haha, <laughs> you thought it was going to be something else, didn't you? <laughs> 662. Two. Oh. 
Put away the shot glasses, my friends. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, if you want to uh, send us feedback on those or see even past those, what we're reading for the rest of the year, uh, we'll first send your feedback into uh, Capes and Lunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. CAPES! CAPES! And like I said, stay in the know. Follow us on uh, social media. Uh, Legends of the Arrowverse, We Are the Night, all of our stuff, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, links to this YouTube, ch- our YouTube channel, you can watch this video, go subscribe, uh, links to our Patreon for all things Star Trek, links to merch, all in one convenient place, that's Linktree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Capes and Lunatics, and remember to support our sponsors, Tweaked Audio. Get yourself some. Tweet. Better audio. Tweet audio. <laughs> yes, and go pick up Hunt a Killer. Michelle, great need your help, guys. Come on. Come on. It's it's holiday shopping time. Get your head out of your butt. Let's go. Let's get it. Be on the lookout for our holiday gift guide, by the way, guys. Coming soon. Oh, that's right. Yes. And You're welcome, Rob. <laughs> oh no, you're welcome, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Who put that together? You're welcome, Rob. Uh but <laughs> And use the code Southgate for both of those for a discount. And go pick up Podlave the book in digital and paperback because volume two is in the works. So get it on the ground floor. Uh, learn all about podcasting and go on Amazon and pick up that. And all of your, when you do all of your holiday shopping, use the link for Southgate Media Group right down there in the show notes. Help us support this show, the Southgate Media Group Network. And of course, that man in the back of that green car, Rob Master Doom <laughs> Southgate. Make it rain, so says Master Doom. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Phil, say Gotham. No, wrong week. <laughs> wrong week. <laughs> Little hellfire. Well, in two weeks, you know, one night in Gotham City, guys. <laughs> what? No, that's what the end of the page said. Oh, this yeah. Issue. <laughs> um, if you nerds want to hang out with me on the interwebs, um, you can find me on Twitter at Lil Hellfire. I will be tweet. The Arrowverse is coming back, guys, so I will be live tweeting. So get on board. I am also on Instagram with your cool grandparents and the hip kids at Lil Hellfire eighty six or at Lil Hellfire sixty nine. I'm also on TikTok, TikTok at Lil Hellfire sixty nine. So if you're on there, follow me. I'll follow you back. But you better be funny. No pressure. Can you not talk and let me enjoy this? <laughs> Be gentle with me. All right, yeah, I'll say TikTok. It. Be gentle with me. I'm too old for TikTok, but it's fascinating. I'm 12 when you need me to be 12. She's on TikTok. Huh? <laughs> I'm 12 when you need me to be 12. <laughs> TikTok's pretty cool. I'm just, you know, I just, it's a lot of kids, bro. Makes me feel old. <laughs> okay, Grandma. All right. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you for joining us. <sighs> come, like I said, come back in one week for ten nights of the beast. All in two weeks by Action Comics six sixty two. Fly on it. Be super. Come on. Back. Be super. You came back. That's right, Lois.